We've introduced you to communities of practice and cultural capital, as well as the importance of these concepts as you're integrating into a new research group. Now we want to help you think about how to become an active member of a new group. So we will cover how to do this in six key steps. The first step is to ask. Ask whoever is leading the group. Talk to other members of the group. Questions like, I'm really looking forward to getting started in your group, Sue. I know every research group operates a little differently. Can you tell me a little bit about how your group works, individually and collectively? What do you hope to get from research group meetings? Reach out for information. Don't wait for people to give you this kind of information. Second, observe. Early on when you're integrating in a new group, spend a lot of time observing and thinking about how people are interacting. Take note if these observations are similar or different than what you experienced in the past. Next, get to know others. Stretch out. Don't just go into your corner and start working on your own project. It's critical that you recognize you're moving into a community. You should get to know people and help them get to know you. The fourth step is to reflect. Take some time and think about what you are seeing and how you are fitting in. Maybe jot down some notes. It's an active process that is essential. As you have seen through our first module, we believe in the power of reflection. Next, engage. Engage with other members of the group right from the beginning. Get used to their patterns of operation. What does collaboration look like? Being engaged is being present, asking questions, being curious, learning about and being interested in other people's projects, reading the literature about your new field. Being part of a group is a very active process. The final step is leadership. At some point, you likely will start to introduce your ways of working, your ways of doing things, your ways of managing a group, beginning to lead. Taking leadership roles can actually happen very early, but is almost expected as you're in a group longer. We have lots of examples where a newcomer can have a tremendous impact on helping a group functioning better. And we'll continue exploring this concept in following modules. Keep thinking about joining a new group as an active process. And these six key points will guide you to become an active member of a new group.